been so cold out and it's autumn and we want something that's warm and comforting and actually hot. I am making hot and sour soup. I've got a super good recipe. It's easy, very inexpensive and very quick to make. So I'm going to bring you on down and we're going to get started. I am starting off with a block of tofu. This is firm and I got this at Trader Joe's and it's just your you know your standard tofu and what I do I have to press it get some of this liquid out of there should I bring you in a little there a little closer there for you so this is the way I do it I think people all have their own little techniques but the way I do it is I take the block and I set it up on end and I cut it as best as I can right down the center sometimes I'm not very successful at that okay and there you have it and then what I do is I take a clean kitchen towel and I put it in there because I want to drain some of this liquid out of there and I wrap it up like so so it's completely encased in the dish towel and then I have a very very fancy tofu press and it's my big pot now if you have something like this and you say oh it's not heavy enough we'll put some water in it that you know you can put water in it or you could put cans or you know whatever you think might be best to to weight it down and anyway I'm going to leave this for about an hour give it a chance to kind of drain some of that liquid out and the uh, dish towel will of course absorb that and once this is ready to go on into the soup we'll be back okay we are back and I've got my tofu pressed it was uh, under that pot for about 45 minutes so come on down and I'll show you what we're going to do here there we are I'm going to bring you in a little tighter there right okay and it, it did press nicely very nicely got a lot of that moisture out the dish towel was very wet very wet by the time I got done with it okay and you know it's just going to be cut into about three quarter to one inch cubes I'm going to cut this something you know that's easy to you know get in your mouth about a, a one inch cube three quarter inch cube see there yeah there you go all right I'm going to cut up the other uh, piece of this tofu and I'm going to bring my cook top in and we're going to get cooking all right before I get anything else going I'm going to make my slurry this is going to help thicken that soup up a little bit <clears throat> you know how um you know hot and sour soup's a little on the thicker side it's not like a real watery soup and this is called a slurry and there's some cornstarch in here and some chicken broth and I'm going to just mix that up till all that cornstarch is dissolved and once this is done I'm just going to set this aside until um, the soup is ready to have it come in and I think that looks pretty good all that cornstarch is dissolved in there now when I get ready to use it the cornstarch will have settled to the bottom of the bowl and I'll be re <coughs> stirring this uh, before I actually pour it in the soup but I've got that done and I'm going to set it aside all right I have got some chicken stock in my pot here and as always I will have the description box full of the ingredients and how we go about making the soup but it's it is so, so straightforward. This is rice wine vinegar. I'm putting some of that in. And I'm going to put in some soy sauce. This is the standard soy sauce. If you want, you know, low sodium or I wouldn't use dark. That might be a little too heavy for this. And so we're going to put the soy sauce in. Something about uh, hot and sour soup. You know, I, you know me, I do a lot of throwing. Um, but for some reason, you know, certain recipes, you have to, you have to use them the way that they were written because you want that certain balance of all those different flavors. All right, and I'm going to give us some ginger in here. Half. One. Half. And two. All right, there's the ginger. And then I'm going to be adding some hot chili paste it's one half and there's the hot of the hot and sour and the vinegar was the sour of the hot and sour so those flavors are all building up well I lost my light so we have a little 
a little darker lighting here than we did a few minutes ago, but that's all right. I've got uh, this soup now, this broth, with all those wonderful things. It smells like it's hot and sour soup. Just smells amazing. You smell that ginger in there and that garlic sauce, and of course the soy sauce smells wonderful. Mm, it all smells really, really good. We are gonna look so forward to having some of this. Now, when this gets to a simmer, which really it almost is, I am going to add, remember my slurry here? Well, I'm stirring that up to make sure all that baking, or excuse me, uh, cornstarch is now incorporated. And I'm going to add that to my soup. Just bring it in there. Get all the goodness out of that bowl. Okay, and I'm going to stir it and let it get thickened up. And it, it will take a minute, maybe, or a little more. Let me get that thickened up. And once I get it to that thicken, thickened stage, I will bring it back. I did want to comment, I need to bring some mushrooms in here. So I'm going to bring those in right now and get those stirred in while that broth is thickening with the cornstarch. And those mushrooms will add some moisture to it and some flavor, obviously. All right. I had forgotten to mention those mushrooms, so I wanted to get those in, obviously. Okay, once this gets thickened, we'll be back. All right, we are at a, a boil, which means that cornstarch now will thicken up. I've done a video uh, one or two back that I talked about cornstarch and how it, it will not thicken something unless you have got it simmering or boiling. And I'm going to turn my heat down now so it stays just at a simmer. And I'm going to add some uh, beaten egg. It's been uh, just beaten up a little bit here. And I'm going to just start drizzling that in. And that is going to give us that wonderful sheared egg that you see in your hot and sour soups. If you do a circular motion, you do get that more of that uh, shearing, as you can see there. And now, as you recall, we have some tofu that we cut up, and that's going to go in. Get that hot through. This is a big pot of soup, which will keep us in some hot and sour soup for quite a few days. I'm not sure how it freezes, but boy, I don't think it'll last all that long. And then I'm gonna put some green onions in here, spice it up a little bit. And I'm gonna to top it off with a little bit of the sesame oil, which gives it that wonderful Asian flavor. When you taste that, you know it's an Asian dish. It just always tastes so wonderful. All right, I am now going to turn this down to low. And I'm going to let that just kind of hang out for a while. All right, uh, I'm going to let the soup sit for a bit and get nice and hot. Make sure that tofu is hot through. Remember, it was kind of cold and uh, then we will get a sub into a bowl and we're gonna sample it and we are so excited because it's dinner time and we are hungry and oh, the smell it's just it's well it just smells like hot and sour soup in here we'll be back Are you ready to give this a try? It's funny how I show up when it's just time to eat, isn't it? <laughs> he does. All right, my love, this is my hot and sour soup. All right. There's tofu in there and mushrooms. We got the bowl there. I want to get a little of everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. I'm working on it. Oh, you're doing fine. Get a mushroom in there, all right. All right, let's have it. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's good. Why go out to a Chinese restaurant? Mm. Mm. That's as good as any hot and sour soup I've ever eaten. It is so good, people. It is so good. Mm. See you later. 
It is. That is That's that is delicious. fantastic, you isn't want it? Some more? I'll take one little bite. Mm. This is how we do it. I have to spoon feed her everything. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, that is good. It reminds me of that night in Kalispell. It was so cold, so dreary, so snowy. And he took pity on me and we drove into downtown Kalispell, went to a crummy Chinese restaurant. But they had the most mm. wicked hot and sour soup and wow. I was just so warmed by it. This is delicious. Well, good. Wow. All right. Well, you got to try this. You do. Here, you want to try it? The descriptions <laughs> and the instructions are all down there in the description box. I hope you like it. I hope you will subscribe. If I you hope... like hot and sour soup, you'll this like this. This is the recipe. Yep. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for coming on in, and we will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Take goodbye. Bye. -bye. Bye.